Hi guys and girls, Gunnifro 7 here. Uh, you join me on this beautiful day in the sunshine. We'll be retrospecting uh, my day yesterday at the Genesis of the Daleks uh, screening. It was an omnibus version from Christmas 1975. Um, it was the first time it's been released since it was ever broadcast back then. I did vlog for a bit. <laughs> Um, and then sort of drinking the social as I got out of the way. Uh, so I'm gonna sort of be talking about the narrative and then sort of inserting clips of stuff I filmed um, just to give you sort of good picture of the day. So I had to get up, get a coach at like seven o'clock in the morning, uh, travel a few hours uh, to get to London, where I'm at Adam Norse at Hoovian. We then got a tube uh, to the South Bank where we filmed a little segment on the bridge. Hi guys and girls, Gareth Fraver and I7 here. I'm joined by Adam Ross Hoovian, not the live stream. Reese, Reese, you've made it. London 1965. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I thought we were going to do it, we are going to do it. <laughs> Got samples over there, the shard, all that great stuff. We are going to the BFI event, uh, the screening of Genesis of the Dynasty Omnibus version. As you can see, Thomas Greer with his scarf. Um, I've got my Jody thing, a bit anti Tom Baker. <laughs> I was going to bring my scarf, but I looked at the weather forecast for. Nah, that's right. I see Big Ben in the distance. Under construction, but there is a Big Ben. It's a transmitter. Over there, it's a transmitter. <laughs> There's a Savine spaceship. <laughs> We got to the BFI South Bank, um, we were like an hour early. Fellow uh, viewer, uh, David Hu, uh, approached us and then from then on it was just like little by little for that over the hour, people sort of coming up and everybody sort of gathering the main entrance. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. It beat Dev a doctor to be honest, um, with the amount of sort of uh, people which are regarded highly in the sort of Hugh community, uh, whether it's YouTube, Twitter or be a part of sort of the uh, show itself, you know. It was just a really great combination of people, which is, oh, that's that person, that's person. I picked up this, um, this is just like basically an extract on how much Genesis of the Daleks uh, means to a lot of people, um, and how like it's been loved by fans, etc. Um, so yeah, it was a really nice read uh, before watching the omnibus. About 10 past 12, went in, got our seats. Um, I was sat next to Adam Altamahoovian uh, and Tardis Monkey from Twitter, and we watched the omnibus. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, I say obviously it was a cut down version of it. It was more sort of like plot driven stuff that was in there. It was more of a sort of concise thing of like we need to do this. But they took out scenes such as uh, when the doctor um, is taking out all his stuff. Little moments like that were sort of taken out, um, but it was very sort of plot driven, which I guess sort of works. And it was an in it was interesting to sort of see that story as a four parter. Um, but there were some really laugh -out moments, um, like me and uh, Adam and Tyus Monkey were all laughing at the time bracelet, which just kept being like, oh, we can't find it. Oh, there it is. It was just, it happened like three or four times. It was hilarious. It's great watching Doctor Who with like that amount of many people. Because, you know, you, you sort of pick up on stuff which you wouldn't pick up on yourself on a single, sort of watching it on your own. So it's a great to have a shared experience like that. This will, of course, celebrate the release of the season 12 uh, Blu ray box set, which was there. It was shown on stage, and I also got to see it afterwards myself. Um, in hand, which is actually amazing. Uh, it looks absolutely brilliant. There's really amazing features. Um, Lee Binding has done a stellar job with the artwork. Do get to meet him afterwards. Uh, really nice bloke. Through the screening, we also got to see um, a few of the features that were on there. There was a Doctor Who um, sort of goggle box style uh, behind the sofa uh, with Tom Baker, uh, Sadie Miller, who is Elizabeth Sadie's daughter in real life, Philip Hinchcliffe. Uh, Louise Jameson, Sarah Sutton, and uh, Janet Fielding. There you go. <laughs> they were divided into like two sort of sets. Um, obviously, the sort of all the female companions, and then Tom, Philip, and Sadie. The trio of the sort of companions were the point most funniest because they hadn't seen it before, and they were sort of saying stuff which you you sort of think of but not say. Um, Janet Fielding was like the most hilarious. I've seen it. Absolutely brilliant. But it's great hearing about Tom Baker. Like he was saying, he dated a, a woman who looked like Davros, and it was like, oh my god. And we also got to see. Uh, 20 minute version of a conversation with Tom Baker. If I like a really honest interview, I feel sometimes when Tom Baker does interviews, he's sort of playing along and being able to like convict his story, do you mean sort of like make it all funny and that. I felt it was very genuine. I felt it was a very honest and genuine interview. Um, there was a really sad part in it um, where he talks about like his next challenge in his life is death. He was describing like how many days are in your life and months, etc. 
Um, it was very, very sad. There was, a, there was a horrible vibe in the audience. As I say, it felt very genuine, and uh, I can't wait to watch the full thing. There was also Q&A with Philip Hinchcliffe, who was absolutely brilliant, actually. I've never met him before, uh, but he was absolutely brilliant, and I thought he gave some really good answers to the questions that were given. Um, it was interesting to see how he was put in such a circumstance, being such a young producer in his time, um, and also being able to, like, have all these presets and that. And it was interesting to see his relationship with Bob Holmes, which I never really fully realised, um, and it was like, obviously before poems he was very much bringing these like hammer horror stuff into it um he was just simply said i don't know i don't watch this stuff but go whatever it sort of work so all of that was around under three hours i say just under three hours after that um i know a few people waited around to meet frank skinner uh, and philip hinchcliffe who sort of said he's, he was not doing any autographs or anything like that so um but frank skinner stopped for a few people after that or other and um, the last few hours i spent there um, was spent in the in the, the pub area in the BFI South Bank. It was great socialising with like friends we established, like Geeks, Adam Hoovian, uh, Gary from the People's Podcast, Gallifrey Hoovian. But it was great also to meet new people as well. You had Beth from Twitter, uh, Elijah, uh, Frankie, and Lee Binding as well. It was just a real shame I had to leave like so early. Like I spent a good few hours there, um, but I felt like it was just like one of those things you just we were socialising, just go on all night. But I want to give a shout actually to uh, Elijah, um, who decided that he had some spare dot two uh, target books uh, and literally just dumped them all out and said anyone just pick one and just yeah and everyone was just like what so i was looking at these books and i was thinking i had a few drinks i was like oh my god like this is amazing so i was picking all these books out and he was like yeah yeah take one and it was i said oh do you want any money and he's like no 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 and it was just like a real kind gesture like that is um, the real love of the Hoovian community. So I only picked up one book because I felt sort of like bad for not picking one up in a strange way. Uh, but I picked up The Nightmare Fair, um, which is uh, when it was meant to be the first story of uh, season 23 um, before it was like put on postponed and they had to make up Travel Time North. So it was like a really cool concept, sort of like set in a fairground ride. Yeah, thank you Elijah for that. Uh, very much appreciated. <laughs> After like saying goodbye to everybody, like I sort of said, I'm leaving now. <laughs> And then it sort of went on for like 10 minutes and said why everybody chatting to people. Then I had to like rush back because my coach was like at 7 um, and I somehow did it. Like literally they were about to leave, like they waited 5 minutes out for the coach. I was literally just running like this, I just imagine in slow motion, like no. I chat to the class, I was just like let me in please. Hey, tell them to stop please. Stop. Hey, stop the bus. I was very, very lucky. Um, I did screw up with the tubes as well, so that didn't help. But I just really love like London. Um, every time I've gone there, I really love that. I would dream to like work there as an editor. Um, now I've left uni, um, and now I sort of want to be an editor. Um, I'd love to work there and just sort of be able to just sort of enjoy the environment and be able to sort of say I want to go to like an event or a convention and just say yeah I'm going and I'll meet up with friends as well who mostly live there um, so if there's any editor jobs going <laughs> send it my way <laughs> overall yeah it was an absolutely great day um, really love the screening um, it was great watching the omnibus version which was seen for like the first time since broadcast in 1975 um, I was saying this to geeks actually when we talk about this um, I haven't watched Genesis uh, in ages even though I watched the story a handful of times in the past like those in those times and I sort of know this story at the back of my hand we were both saying each other how we haven't watched it in like god knows how long uh, so it was really nice to revisit that and it was hard last week when I was doing my season 12 trailer um, trying to sort of edit it but not watch it because I wanted to obviously save the enjoyment for when I watch this but uh, yeah no it was absolutely great it was really great to have a QA. and a um, the special feature was really great I'm really looking forward um, to watch those yeah just a really really nice um, social time uh, with friends and new friends and I can't wait to do it all again uh, when I go there next week to meet uh, Tom Baker and Louise Jameson at London uh, Film Fair um, so thank you very much for watching guys and girls hope you enjoyed this uh, mashup of vlog and retrospect uh, please comment like and subscribe you're following me on Twitter Facebook Instagram links to that stuff in the description below um, did you go to the event what did you think of the uh, Genesis of the Daleks uh, omnibus screening and Q&A with Flitch Hinchcliffe uh, did you not go uh, let me know all your thoughts about it in the comment section below Next Saturday on the 30th of June, um, me and Billy are going to London, um, to London Film Fair to meet Tom Baker and I'm also meeting Louise Jameson, I've got a photo shoot uh, with the two and I'll be meeting up with all the various people from the same event again, so I'm a bit like deja vu, so I'm really excited for that, so if you're going to that let me know, I'd love to see you there, um, feel free to come and say hi, so thank you very much for watching guys and girls and I'll see you next time, bye bye!